Hi, welcome to Chemical Bonding. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to talk about the properties of covalent compounds and network solids. Specifically, we're going to look at the definition of a molecular substance, physical properties of molecular substances, definition of a network solid, examples of network solids, and finally, physical properties of network solids. Covalent compounds and their physical properties. So there's two types of substances that we classify our molecular compounds into, molecular solids and network solids. So let's differentiate between the two. A molecular substance is a substance that is made up of covalently bonded molecules. The physical properties of molecular substances is that they typically have low melting points, so less than 300 degrees Celsius. These are poor conductors of heat and electricity, and they tend to be soft. In other words, they can be scratched easily. So examples are water, ammonia, carbon tetrachloride, hydrogen gas, and glucose. We look at those and we say, okay, those are just molecular solids. Some are gases, some are liquids. Depends on the situation and the temperature and pressure which these molecules can be found. Then we have network solids. These are carbon atoms that can form covalent bonds with other carbon atoms in a three-dimensional arrangement, which we call a network solid. Other group 14 elements, such as silicon and germanium, can also form network solids. So here we have a crystal, some quartz below, and we can see the silicon forming covalent bonds with oxygen to form silicon dioxide otherwise known as quartz, in sand and glass, depending on the situation. Remember, silicon and germanium are metalloids, so they have properties of both metals and nonmetals, so they can, under certain circumstances, covalently bond with other atoms. Other examples of network solids are diamonds, graphite, we also call that pencil lead, we can see some graphite right here, and like I stated before, silicon dioxide, which is known as Quartz. Physical properties of network solids. Network solids have high melting points due to strong covalent bonds. They can be extremely hard or soft like graphite. So if you've ever used a mechanical pencil and it's broken under pressure, that's the graphite breaking. But that's more like intra versus intermolecular forces. And trust me, that's something for definitely another time. So soft like graphite based on three-dimensional structural arrangements of the atoms. Typically, network solids are poor conductors of heat and electricity, except for graphite. So what did you learn in this tutorial? We went over the definition of a molecular substance. We went over the physical properties of molecular substances. We talked about the definition of a network solid, some examples of network solids, and finally brought it home with physical properties of network solids. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.